this is where a guy was probably hit by a car and died. Yeah, look at how this guy drives. Look at how this guy drives. Look what we have here. We have a Giga. How do you know it's in Russia? It's an automobile called Vaz. I'm guys currently in a place called Zemen. If you've missed that. And it's a small town, uh, southwestern of Sofia, the capital of Bulgaria. And it's a relatively small town, uh, village type town, which is not particularly interesting tourist destination. And the odds of finding yourself here are not very big. If the train to Kustendil breaks down, or probably if your mother-in-law buys a house. Why not? It's probably a good deal. And look at the building. Very nice little railway station with somebody waiting for the train to come either going to Kustendil or Sofia. Now, if you wonder what the people do here for living, as the older guy told us, or well, that's something that I'll put for you, there's not much to do. There is some mining going on, and there is a factory producing milk and milk products, and that's pretty much it. Let me show you. Let me show you these buildings. Let's go and check out that one. Do you think that's the old train station? Or it was someone's house? The condition is bad. It probably must be demolished. And here we find the typical symbol of the Barbaron. They are drawing Barbarons all over the place here. I don't understand why. But here, here is what I want to see first. Look at this. This, I guess, is older, older than communism. This is probably the 30s, the 40s. Badly hit. How do you think, guys? Does it look like an old railway station? Or not? I would say yes. It could have been an old railway station here in Zeman. Uh, now it's unfortunately in, in such a bad condition that I hope that they do something about it. Because we can't just lose all our historical buildings in this way. But looking at the ceiling from this position, there's a lot to be done. And my guess is that they will just bring it down, unfortunately. But that's the way life goes, because in Bulgaria, they like to build new and investing money in something old uh, considers not very smart move. 
which I don't understand why, but that's the psychology here. Especially in the bigger cities, like in Sofia, they've been strange fires going on in these buildings and stuff like that. You can Google that. Um, so, yeah, that's sad. Wow, look at what I found here. Somebody's old Moskvichis. I still can't believe the people keep these cars. I almost want to meet the, the owner and make him an offer. Look here. It's a beautiful old Moskvichis. Look. In a very nice condition for the age. I think I'm buying such a car. I want to have in the garage one of these cars. These are the older model. If I tell you that we have the newer model of Moskvich for like 20 years, you will probably not believe me. But that was our family car. Russian Moskvich. Moskvich? In English means a Moscow citizen. Moscow citizen in Russian, Moskvich. And these, these two, I would guess are, um, because they are new registered, they've been in use not long ago. I don't know if I can get into that, into that garage to show you because I don't have problems with the owner. But I will show you a bit of it. Look here. That's the interior with some leather, some textiles. Um, it's okay condition. Can be renovated, looks nice. It's, um, it's a very good condition, I would say. Original one. And this one, I don't know the modification, but it looks like a new, new um, interior. Textiles. No leather, unfortunately. These cars are guys always manually driven. It says gas here. So he installed the gas gas tank it's much cheaper to drive it on gas and it's even open there from the other side so he tried to get in for some reason but look at the bumper look at the bumper steel bumper uh, and here are the lights for the registration plate which is from the town of Pernik Moskvich from Pernik. The exterior is the same, but that one has a facelift in the interior, <laughs> if you can say it like that. Cool old Soviet car. In the middle of nowhere, town of Zeman. What else can we find here, guys? It's so much to show. Honestly, it's beyond my expectations in this town. Maybe I can show old train wagons, because I see them there. Ah, these are quite old. Should we check them out? Yeah, why not? Let's go. Probably breaking the law here. And there's somebody here who's watching me. Uh, I hope he's not a local policeman or railway man because I don't want to be reported to the authorities and to get fined. Uh, 
Zemen pellets, these are some kind of fabric here. Making pellets. There's a lot of trees around. But that's not what we want to see. It's this old train wagon there. There's three of them. So let's go and check them out. And this is something that's falling apart. I don't know what that is. Probably a storage house. Not in use. Ah, sad picture. But let's check this out. 4452 11842650 That looks quite old. <coughs> Should we get into it? Are we allowed to? I guess no, but there's no way to get into them. And uh, here you probably can. I'll just give you a peek. All right. All right. There's a lot of graffiti inside. Somebody was interested in getting in, showing his graffiti, practicing probably. I guess the youth of Zemen never get their home of youth, so they. Uh, found something else to do. Spraying graffiti around. Here. That's old, I would guess. That's old. There's nothing showing any sign of age or ear marked on it. Do you think it's pre-Second World War or post? Write in the comments below, please, if you have any knowledge of old, old wagons. Old train cars, or however you call them. Because you have no clue, no idea. What do you think, guys? Should we go and check out how a railway station on an exotic place like this looks like? Should we give it a try? Why not? Let's go and check it out. And let's see what's the next train coming to Zemen or leaving Zemen. The railway station of Zemen is in exploitation since 1909. 1909 was when this rail station opened. And what you find here is you have to put your mask. Let's see what we find out. Historical pictures. Railway between Radomir Zemen and Kustendil, 1909-2019. These are the towns we can visit by coming from Sofia to Kustendil. We have the towns Radomir, Zemen, Kustendil, and some villages around. I hear a lot of information on this. Railway station and the line itself. How many railway stations there are? Are the trains operating today? Yeah. And here's the ticket selling personnel with all the trains that come and go in a very old-fashioned way. No electronics. 
no screens just numbers and stickers so 9 942 is right now and there is nothing passing in the next half half hour 1017 is the train to Kristendil coming from Sofia and it goes 1023 continues right. and here you can buy the ticket as you can see there is a computer so you will be issued a computer printed tickets and they stop selling tickets five minutes before the train goes so we won't be able to buy a ticket if you come a bit late so come at least 10 minutes before the train goes a historic picture yes that definitely that's definitely the same building isn't it beautiful? The same building as today. So that one wasn't the railway station that we, we saw just now. That was another building. Cool. And you can get your coffee here. If you'd like. No. You can't. Because it says it doesn't work. Out of function. So, no coffee for you today, if you're leaving Zeman from this railway station. You'll get your coffee somewhere else. And this is the guy who controls the, the traffic. He's talking on the phone. Oh no, there are many guys here. Nobody talking on the phone, they're talking to themselves. And here you can get your free Wi-Fi zone. So, you know what? I'm gonna sit a bit and serve the internet. Because that's my only chance in the city of Zeman. See you later.